Well, certainly the most fun thing about being a camp tenor is getting to sing the virtuosic uh, showpieces of the 18th century, uh, music that made the castrati so famous. I went to a teacher who, when my voice broke when I was 14, he, he, he tried out my range and he, because I had a relatively easy access to my falsetto, he said, you should be a countertenor. And my, my first response to this was, how would I ever get a girlfriend? Um, but I, I eventually was flattered enough into, into pursuing it and then finding a real passion and love for the music and the repertoire. I think the most artistically rewarding thing about Baroque music is having such amazing freedom to, to ornament, um, to express yourself in so many different ways. In the Baroque era, you have this incredibly simple but very powerful way of expressing things, uh, which is primarily through dissonance and its release into consonance. I love going back on a piece for the da capo and playing with the, the rhythm and, and the pitch and kind of stretching the contours of the music um, in order to intensify the, the character's dramatic journey. What's really interesting for me as a countertenor is, is that you're really breaking people's expectations, even nowadays. Um, of course, a lot of people know about countertenors, but that you still, you still meet people who are very shocked and surprised at your voice. One of the things I most like to hear is, is that people didn't find it, um, maybe they find it initially strange and, and bizarre, but, but then they're captivated by it and, and moved by it in a way they never expected. Fundamentally, it's, it's, a, it's an odd thing. You're using a part of your voice which is more often used by men when they're, when they're mocking um, and, you know, it's, it's seen as effeminate and it's not seen as natural. Um, but using that part of the voice as a man, it fundamentally challenges people's views of masculinity and what it is to be masculine. And I think that having, uh, being communicative in, a, in an open and direct way with that voice without it sounding artificial and fake is definitely my main objective um, as a countertenor. I think that the piece of Bach which moves me the most is Es ist vollbracht um, from the St. John Passion. This aria comes just after Jesus has died on the cross and Bach's response to this is, is incredible. The, the interplay between the viola da gamba and the alto voice um, for me really perfectly captures the pain of, of grief and the the, the profound pain of losing someone you love. At the end of the piece, you have this, this questioning final, Es ist vollbracht, kind of hangs over the piece as, as, this, as this kind of eternal question of mankind's understanding and acceptance of mortality.